Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge here. And tonight we are going back to the galaxy. As you can see, we got her docked here in McKinley Station. From last video we used, from the last video we used, when we used the Prometheus, it had the separation console. So I thought, why not go back to the galaxy? Again, Captains, this is my first love in Star Trek. This is the first ship I ever saw. And this is what made me fall in love. So any reason to get back onto the galaxy, I will do that. So when I used the Prometheus last night, like I said, the separation console, I thought, you know what? Why don't we do the same thing here for the galaxy? So what we'll do is we'll go over the build, weapons, space set, consoles, traits, stations, doffs, and then take it into an elite Argala. And then we'll see how she does. Regardless of how she does, she looks good. So she can be doing minus one DPS and I would still love her to bits. There we go. And she is in the station docked for refit and this is what we did with her. So I named it the USS Enterprise D. See what I did there? So we're using the Legendary Command Exploration Cruiser. So this is from the 10th Anniversary Legendary Bundle Pack but we're just using the good old galaxy skin here. So here we go. The four weapons, we have two Agni Phaser Beam Arrays, crit DM damage times four. Got these off the exchange. We did a recent video of the Phoenix Prize Pack as of this video stating that we actually still use some of the items and this is one of them. The Prolonged Engagement Phaser Beam Array. I like using it because the two piece of this, because we are using the prolonged engagement photon torpedo as well. The two piece of this gives us a little bit more recharge on our bridge officer abilities. So that's why I like using this. And as the fight goes on, it actually increases in damage and it looks like a phaser. So win win. So I got this prolonged engagement phaser and this prolonged and gamage photon from the Phoenix prize pack. It is a very rare token. Highly, highly recommend if this is something you, you want to just add to a tune that you're leveling up. But again, there's a video for that. This is just a build review for this one. Again, we are using my favorite photon torpedo, the gravimetric photon torpedo. I'm not using high yield, so there's no way I'm going to kill myself, but we're using it because it looks pretty when it's under rope spread. This is from your Dyson rep. Space set here, we got our Elite Fleet Intervention Protomatter Deflector. This comes from your Fleet Colony. Your Prevailing Innovated Impulse from your Competition rep. Since it's a beam heavy build, we're going to use our Elite Fleet Plasma Integrated Warp Core, which is from your Fleet Spire, I believe. And our favorite shield, the Tilly's Review Pending Modified Shield from the Discovery rep. In the aft here, we have two more Agni Phaser Beam Arrays. Crit DM damage times four. Again, I just bought these off the exchange. We're using the Trilithium Enhanced Omnidirectional Phaser Beam to give us a little bit more damage when we're facing our enemies. And also to give us a chance to for some cycle haste, weapon cycle haste there. This comes from the mission Nexus. The prolonged the gamage photon, like we said, this actually does have a 180 degree targeting arc, so you can broadside your target and it'll actually fire. And besides, we've seen the Enterprise D fire photon torpedoes, especially right before the theme of this build, and I'll explain that more later. Devices. We have our energy candy here for the plus 20% bonus energy weapon damage for 20 seconds. Temporal Negotiator to help us with our cooldowns. The Red Matter Capacitor. Again, I mentioned this in the video there for the Phoenix Prize Pack. Very good console. Gives us plus 25 all power levels for 30 seconds. Nothing wrong with that. Have the Subspace Field Modulator for some damage resistance rating. And of course, the Kobayashi Maru Transponder for all its buff goodness. Consoles here, we have the Lorca's Custom Fire Controls, the Lorcator from your Discovery Rep your bioneural infusion circuits, which is from your Lobby store. The M6 computer, I've 
I love using this console. This is from the Tier 3 Temporal Escort, which you can buy from your shipyard for Dilithium. It is essentially a placeholder for the actual Domino console. But as you can see there, it gives us plus 15% bonus all damage for 15 seconds, plus 25% cooldown reduction for tactical officer abilities, and fire cycle haste for all our weapons for, for 20%. And then some ac rating defense rating 15 seconds as well we're using emulating phaser lance to sort of emulate a beam overload because why not but it also gives us 15.8 percent phaser damage 43.8 shield pen this comes from your deimos pilot destroyers which is r and d ship so this is the refit they refitted the Galaxy, or we re refitted the Galaxy with Quantums, but we're using the opening salvo console from the Tier 6 Titan. Captains, you know I love this console. Nothing like shooting torpedoes at a target and then having the shields go bye-bye. But we're also pairing this with something else, but we'll go over that when we get there. And here's that Domino console. Again, something that we went over plenty of times in the build here, and something that hopefully Captains you can still get your hands on if you didn't get this for an event you can get it through the phoenix prize pack it is an epic token but it comes with this console which is plus 15 percent phaser damage and again all that goodness there 25 percent fire cycle haste 25 percent bonus all damage 25 percent recharge speed for bridge officer abilities so not just a tactical but all the bridge officer abilities plus 100 percent recharge speed for torpedo weapons and of course if you defeat a foe it adds two seconds to the duration of the console And the main part of this build that we're building around here, it, literally the solder separation. So this comes again, when you get the legendary version, it comes with all the universal consoles, all previous Galaxy variants come with. So we're gonna use this here. We're gonna be on the battle bridge, captains. Dynamic power redistribute module. This comes from your Atlas which is a lockbox ship, again, for its damage resistance rating. And the 19% directed energy damage. There, and of course, the oh crap button, but it also gives you plus 40% bonus damage and 100% or 100 bonus damage resistance rating, 500% hull regen. And then we're pairing it with a point defense bombardment warhead. Again, a refit that we're gonna put on this, 25% projectile damage. 1% critical chance, but pairing it up with the DPRM gives you more phaser damage, 33%. Then of course, tactical consoles, we just have the vulnerability locators for phaser damage, 39.4 and plus 2% critical chance. So our loadout, or stats I should say here, we are at 41.7% crit chance and 176.3 crit severity. Captains, keep in mind my Pendevers are all complete, so we have the space ones all filled out, and that is helping us not just with our critical chance and critical severity, but also our resistances as well. So, traits, here we go. A good day to die, beam barrage. Superior Beam Training, Intelligent Agent Attaché, Self-Modulating Fire, Inspirational Leader, Fragment of AI Tech, Parent Targeting Systems, Unconventional Systems, and the Boimler Effect. So here we go. We're going to use this trait that we used previously which is the carrier wave shield hacking, which when you activate tractor beam, gives you some bonus kinetic damage to your tractor beam, but also the shields go offline. And we know tractor beam is used in Star Trek. And this time when we use it, shields go bye-bye. And we're gonna be pairing that with the opening salvo as well. Overpowered overgun. Emergency weapon cycle. Entwined tactical matrices. Universal Designs and Supercharged Weapons. We're using this because firing a torpedo grants us a stack of supercharged weapons, which actually gives us more 
beam damage. Also crit chance and crit severity, because why not? Change it up a little bit. Base rep, we have magnified firepower, advanced charging systems, enhanced armor penetration, precision, and Tyler's duality. Active space rep, we have the anti-time entanglement singularity, biomolecular shield generator, deploy sensor interference platform, quantum singular ma manipulation, and refracting tetron cascade. Stations, left to right, top to bottom. Hemocyte, lace weaponry, repeater spread one, attack pattern beta, and our main damage dealer here, we're looking at fire at will three. We're gonna try to hit all of our targets. Uh, structural integrity collapse, unstable warp bubble, Concentrate firepower. Actually, there may be a chance I will actually <laughs> kill myself with my gravimetric torpedo, but it's okay. We're still going to use it. We're not going to change anything because we love that grav torp. We're going to use Suppression Barrage 3. What this does is literally give minus 50% outgoing damage to your target, so it really decreases all the damage you're going to get. So this is a really good tanking trait, but we're going to use it because the galaxy is a beast on her own, so we're going to use this to help her survive. Emergency power to engines, emergency power to weapons 2, and then eject warp plasma. And here, tractor beam, and we're going to use this to take off the shield along with opening salvo and scramble sensors. So we have one, two, three, four uncon procs here. On Aziz. Then we head off to our dupes. We head to our dupes. So again, the same two helping us on the ground for space. Neil Falconer. Neil Falconer gives us increased damage versus the Berg. Elder Milikatan, increased damage versus all. And then for our space here, Mercy Con Officer. It's actually this doth comes from the Phoenix Prize Pack, so highly recommend. That one as well. Recharge evasive maneuvers when emergency powered engines is activated. And then we're using one projectile officer to give us a chance to stack our crit severity when we fire projectiles, and two energy weapon officers a chance for stacking crit chance and crit severity when we fire energy weapons. They'll rein for the increased damage versus the Borg because we love the Borg. 30 to 47, reduce other bridge officer ability cooldowns after using one. So there it is. We're going to indeed make sure we use the saucer sep because this is just for fun. This is one of the, these are the type, the type of build that I love doing for myself. And we're going to see how it does. But before we head into an elite Argala, shout out to my fellow captains here. We have Chaos, Trishlin, we have Anthony Taylor, we have Yaz. Hopefully I said that right. Johnny and Neve. Shout out to you, Caps. So, like I said, we're going to go take this to Elite Argala, see how it does. Hopefully, I don't grab a magic torpedo myself. Hopefully. That is the hope. Right here. Take us out of here. Maximum. Mm. I sir. Engage. Ooh. Right. I don't know if you can tell, Captains, I have a big smile on my face. Like I said, this is one of my favorite ships. One of my favorite ships. Remember, Picard and Riker are always with us. Let's stop this shaking. Let's do this properly. Tactical alert. Vessel approaching. Ooh. Bearing 184, Mark 7. All hands. Mm. Battle stations. Now hear this. Print out message urgent all stations on all decks. Prepare for emergency saucer seven. Note in ship's log that at this start time, I'm transferring command to the battle bridge. Mark. Starship separation. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we 
we go. Okay, that was way too much feels. That was way too much feels. I'm having way too much fun with this. Now, when you are in the Battle Bridge section here, the Galaxy actually gains some flight speed and turn rate. Makes it a little bit more maneuverable, and that was just mm, feels all the way around. We're going to save our major buffs here for the next group. Anytime now. There you go. You are now, looks like our fight got them to notice us. Let's go over and ask if their boss might come out of hiding. Mm -hmm. Bye, shields. I have a magic torpedo. I am so glad that she has so much hull. <laughs> I, s I hit myself with my gravity magic torpedo. That's okay. That's a lot of explosions. Get this one down, whittle her down. Aft photon torpedoes firing. And there she goes. Here, have a gravimetric torpedo. And while we're hitting that one, we're also hitting that target too, so... Tractor beam, by shields. I love that. I love that trait. Not gonna lie. I love that trait. Gee, so much chemocyte boom booms. We do what we want, where we want. Sure. Eye shields. How do you like that? Hmm. You know, it's a very Filipino say uh, thing to say. Hmm. How do you like that one? Hmm. It's cause let's use that. Take that down. Up a tight beam transmission on a new frequency. We're jamming that She's a tough ship. Now, but it was probably a call for assistance. Aft torpedoes fire, love that. Mm. There you go, victory. last group already. Fire phasers on full with a simultaneous spread of torpedoes. Uh yes, sir. Tractor beam, taking out the shields. Boom. Opening salvo. Body shields again. That's got them. Excellent work. <laughs> we'll send over a pacification party. Oh. That was way too good. That was way too good. All right. Go over here for our shelfies. Captains, if you don't know, those are our ship selfies. Thank you for your assistance. And uh, one sec, sir. One sec. We're going to park it over here and give our final thoughts. And there you go. Uh, that is how she did. And I think she did absolutely fantabulous you know when i first saw this 
on screen with the saucer separation, I was like, oh, but it was one of the features that made me fall in love with the galaxy. And like I said, captains, this is the first ship that I saw in Star Trek and I fell in love with. And I was very, very happy to be inspired from our last build to get back onto the ship. So any reason, any reason I find to get back on the galaxy, I will. So let's recall our saucer. Oof, that's good. That looks good. Okay, we're going to leave it on that shot. Again, Captains, these builds are just something that I do for fun. And I was literally smiling the whole time. Giddy like a little schoolgirl. One, she looks good. And two, she performs really well. Again, this is the Legendary Galaxy, which comes from the 10th Anniversary Bundle. Highly recommend that you do get this ship, Captains, but you don't need it. The Tier 5 Galaxy comes with a separation console and you can use it on the tier 6 version so and captains like I said when we are here on the twitch bridge it's all for fun so I invite all you captains to come here and join in on our nightly pew pew shenanigans where we just enjoy each other's company and destroy some pixels which usually 90% of the time is the board but that said we'll leave it on this note don't let them promote you don't let them transfer you. Don't let them do anything that takes you off the bridge of that ship because while you're there, you can make a difference.